our project is ready on fractions so now let's have a look so what is a fraction a fraction shows equal parts of a whole it is written in this way numerator upon denominator a numerator tells us the number of parts counted and the denominator tells us the equal parts of the whole the fractions can be told in four different ways one is the circle the other is with the help of the fraction bar then we can also use the number line to tell the fraction and also from the groups now over here i have shown two methods that is the circle and the fraction bar in this table over here i have uh, denoted the fraction and the plural of it like over here starting with one whole wherein i have shaded the whole circle and the fraction bar then coming to one half wherein we divide the circle into two equal parts since we have two in the denominator and we are going to take one part from it and so i have shaded only one part the plural of half is halves coming to the next wherein uh, we are going to show one third and since 3 is in the denominator we are going to divide the circle into the three parts or a fraction bar into the three parts and we are going to shade one part the plural of third is thirds in the same way one fourth can be shown in this way the plural of one fourth is fourths you can also write quarter over here then the next i have taken one fifth the plural of which is fifths One sixth, the plural is six. One seventh, the plural is sevenths. Then one eighth, the plural is eighths. One ninth becomes ninths. One tenth, the plural is tenths. And then I have taken one twelfth, where the plural is twelfths. Now the same way we can show it with the help of this circle. Now coming to the first example over here, that is one half. now since 2 is in the denominator we are going to divide this circle into two equal parts so with the help of this chalk you can draw a line and so i have given black color to this circle and then we can take the inner circle to shade half of the circle and this is how we are going to denote one half then when we have to rub it off we can use a sponge or we can use a tissue paper and we can just simply rub it off with this then the second example is of 3/4 now since the denominator is showing 4 we are going to divide this circle into four equal parts so this is how we are going to divide the circle so each circle is 1/4 and since the numerator is 3 we are going to shade three parts of 1/4 that is 1/4 this is 2/4 and then this is 3/4 so this becomes 3/4 now let's say if we have to take 2/5 so we will divide our circle into five equal parts this is 1/5 2/5 3/5 Four fifth, and this is the fifth part. So we have five equal parts. Now we have to show two fifth. So let's take this inner circle out. This is one fifth, and this becomes two fifth of a circle. So in this way, we can use this circle. So do let me know in the comment box about the project. If you like the project, do give a thumbs up. Do share the video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos. Till then, this is Amrapali signing out. Happy learning fractions and happy growing up with your loved ones.